Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over how to make buttons in Figma using auto layout so that they'll resize based on the content that you put within them. So here I have an empty file in Figma. We're going to go ahead and make a frame because you need a frame in order to make auto layout. That's the only element that you can apply them to. So we're going to go ahead, just click, have a 100 by 100 one, and we'll insert some text. So for example's sake, I'll name this button. And I like to have my spacing on an eight point grid. So just using eight, 16, 24, et cetera, et cetera. So for this one, I will do 16 on the top and 24 on the sides. And we're gonna go ahead and match that on the left and right as well. So you can either drag this up and try and match it or another cool trick that I found is with command and shift on a Mac and using arrow keys, you can actually resize a frame without having to touch your mouse or trackpad. So we're going to go ahead, get this to 24. And now that we have that, let us rename this to button. And over here on the right, you'll see the auto layout option. So we'll go ahead and add auto layout. And Figma is really good at adding default styles here. So you'll see it says 24 in the horizontal padding and 16 in the vertical padding, the same way that we built it. The space between here will be between elements that is actually in this. And since we don't have any, we can just leave this at zero. And we want horizontal because we want this button to grow horizontally once we change the content that's in here. So for example, if we write, type something, if I could spell something, then it'll adjust to that sizing and keep the spacing and padding that we had. So let's go ahead and style this button a little bit. So we can just go ahead and here on fill, we can change this to, let's just use this blue. And then for the text, we'll go ahead and change this to white. So a little tip here, you can actually just type the first two letters of a repeating hex code and press enter and it'll actually autofill that for you, which is nice. And then let's go ahead and add four pixels of corner radius on this button. And there you have a button. Um, I will also show you how to add an icon to this button. So it's really nice because you can keep an icon on either side for product design work that you're working on and can still have it resize. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag in this Chevron SVG and you'll see that it'll automatically adjust to the largest thing that is in this frame. So here it is the Chevron, but let's go ahead and take this out of this frame that it came in. We can delete this frame and now it'll resize based on that. And we can go ahead and center this so it'll stay centered no matter what we do. And then we can change this stroke to be white as well. So now the space between element comes into play. Since we have it at zero, there's obviously no spacing between these. But if we do eight, for example, then we have that space that comes between them. And then we could resize this a little bit make it a couple pixels smaller, do four by eight, and then it fits perfectly there. And there you have a button. So now, again, I can type in here and it will still auto adjust this width of the button. And what's also really nice is if you need to swap these, you can just use arrow keys um, if you need to make a button with a icon on the left, but also one on the right. So you can swap those or you can just move the layers back and forth and it'll do the same. So that's about it for buttons and auto layout. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them or let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make. Have a good one. Bye.